Hey yo, what's going on YouTube man, it's your boy Stunning Man, bring you guys another sub review gameplay here on the channel today guys. Now today's video guys, we'll be talking about how to rush effectively here in Modern Warfare guys. Today's video man, we're going to pretty much showcase a shoot house because this is a map um, that everyone loves to play. So I'm going to teach you guys how to rush effectively here on um, right quick. All right, let's go ahead and get play the video real quick. I'm just going to point out stuff that I see, some stuff that he, that he could change, some of the some stuff that he should um keep um going with, and all that. Let's get straight to it, man. So it looks like my man's about to use a MP5, a MP5 with a monolith integral suppressor, uh, Merc 4 grip, 45 round mag, super grip tape, uh, super grip tape, and uh, F tech collapsible. What is he doing? Oh, okay, he's he changing the settings real quick. Just died. What is he doing? Okay, he just changed his settings. All right, cool, cool, cool. That was a weird spawn right there. Nice, got a little pick off right there. Nice. Now, see, he's also running the tracker. I've been seeing that lately. Everybody's been running a tracker uh, lately. Let me know down in the comment section if you also run a tracker. Nice little rush right outside. There you go. A spawn. Yep. Now, one thing I can say right now, let me pause the video real quick. Now, one thing I can say to you guys right now about Shoe House, man. And if you guys are wondering how do YouTube just streak up so fast, how do we always drop in nuclears on the map of shoe Bro, I feel like personally, my opinion, I feel like shoe house probably has to be the most easiest map just to drop a nuclear just because everything is obvious. Alright. Now the way the spawns work, guys, the your your enemy will also um spawn C to A, C to A every single time. There's there's not such thing as a weird spawn when they come out to um shoe house whatsoever. Unless you're playing kill confront right now, is what we're playing what's what we're watching right now now but such as domination and stuff like that the spawns is always you know back and forth you know a and c a and c a and c but once you get to kill confirm or a hard point or a headquarters there's sometimes where you might end up spawning in the middle of the map or sometimes you might spawn at that little back corner um the back corner of the map let's go ahead and um Watch some more real quick, but you you do want to rush the outsides of the map. Or should you just keep on looping and looping? The only time you want to go middle is if you have an advanced UAV or whatever. Cause sometimes, nice. That was that was a nice kill right there. GG. This man is rushing a lot though. He got his veto jet. Now let me show you. Let me go back. Let me go back real quick because a lot of you guys been asking me that too. Stun it, bro. Why do you always put your veto jet on the outside of the map, bro? Why you not calling inside the map? Listen, I don't know what it is, but sometimes, um, how can I say this? Sometimes when you call your veto jet, depending on what part of the map or what side of the map you are on, regardless, it does not matter. The veto jet just somehow just keeps on killing you. I I don't get it. That's why you see some people, which is a good play by this guy right here. He put his veto jet all the way to the outside of the map just so he doesn't have to worry about it. Um, it killing him, stuff like that. That's like something that that, that is something that always happens. For my people who always get killed by their veto jet, please let me know down in the comment section, guys, and drop that like. All right, let's go get, let's go ahead and uh, run it back real quick. All right, but that was a good triple kill right he got right there. Nice. I, I can tell you got EOD on EOD with a uh, Simtex. That's nice. He got a chopper gunner. Nice. He got him. The spawn's gonna be to the right of him. Did he get him? Nice jump shot. Nice. That was clear right there. Let me go back to that. Let me go back to that. Now you guys must be aware. Let me go back to real quick. Now, the only thing I don't I don't approve of, but at the same time it worked out in his favor. Once he got these little couple kills right here on this side of the map over here. He quickly, guys, went to the middle, and once he jumped off, he actually seen, I'm pretty sure that he's seen, it's not hard to see or whatever. I'm pretty sure that he's seen that, oh, snap, there, there are more enemies coming or whatever. Because usually in, in Kill Confirm, sometimes the enemies will spawn on this this part right here where I, where I got my mouse at. Sometimes they end up spawning right here, so he can easily just, just hop over the ledge again, like a quick head glitch, and easy just, just kill him or whatever. But this time, guys, they also, they spawn that little back corner right here, and they start rotating some more over here. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he uh killed somebody over here yet or it was two people who ran back but there will be an enemy right here this is i'm gonna say i'm gonna tell you how he, how he could have died easily let's go ahead. now let's go back real quick sorry that i'm pausing a lot but you see how this guy already is ads down 
easily. This guy could have easily. I feel like if this guy had like a, like a assault rifle or a submachine gun or LMG, whatever the case is, he could have easily just killed um, my man's right here easily. But nine times ten, he has a sniper. He has a green light or whatever. He's a sniper, so he got an easy pick off. Nice. All right. Now, he sees this guy right here, right? His teammates over here. I'm pretty sure his teammate does not see him yet just because the way the, um, this object is set up, you'll not be able to see somebody unless they hurry up and turn around this corner and then he'll be able to see them. You can see like a tad bit, but not, not really. All right, let's go back to it. Easy kill. Now, luckily... I am so happy that this guy was actually playing very, very smart. He had his back uh, turned against the wall or whatever, so he was still able to see, you know, what was going to just to make sure um, the enemies were going to actually, you know, just keep on running across. Because I'm pretty sure once the enemy spun, the, the, they were really just going to go back to where they died, which is over here. So the last thing they were thinking about is this area right here, right? So luckily, his teammates are right here. Okay, very, very good distraction. Got that kid right there. He misses shots though, which is which is scary because sometimes you can easily get shotgun. All right. When he jumped out, right? He, he what what is this? All right, let's go back to it. When he jumped out, right? He started shooting that kid that he just let go. That he came up with a nice jump shot just to finish it off. That was a good gameplay. My man, keep on changing his settings. Is he going to do automatic tactical sprint? Yes, automatic tactical sprint. That's the best. That's the best one right there. All right. How about the lid? Nice reload. Let me go back to that. What was that right there? Hold on. Now, what I feel like he should have did, man, just to be safe, he, he, he got he got away with it. But usually some, some games you won't be able to do that every single time. Let me go back to it. What I feel like he should have did was... Um, basically just stayed on this head list right here and just easy just pick up this kid right here because usually what happens is once you drop down whatever it only takes only, only, only takes one mistake and the guy could have easily had a shotgun and just boom it's just one problem just like that but it worked out in his favor I'm guessing I'm guessing the, but these kids are bad that he's playing against what is going on nice nice kid right there I don't know how they didn't kill him but he got his veto jet up he, he, he has everything though so he, he he's good this man's a rusher rusher Nice little pickoff right there. Is he going to win this gunfight? See? J just like I said. Just like I said. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. All right. So, let's go back over here. There's some reasons why I say, trust me, guys. Trust me. You would die off so many news by, by, by this one small mistake, and that's for pushing the middle. You never want to do that whatsoever, especially if there's a guy right here, right here in the opening. Depending on how your aim is, if you trust your aim or whatever the case is, Nine times out of ten, it's a slight test. You might want a gunfight depending on who is who is on that heady or whatever. If you would kill him off that heady, but it's you, you just can't do that, bro. That's exactly why, like, like you see how his gun just been like very very jumpy or whatever stuff like that. It just jumping everywhere. He can't get no hits on him. Just like that, he he lost by an M13. You're not gonna be an M13, especially on the heady from that far away on shoot house. All right, let's go back to this real quick. So he died. He spawned to the back. Easy kill. Nice. Let's see if we can run this outside. Oop, another kid just pop up. So let's let's go back to this real quick. So as it looks over, guys, nine times out of ten, that enemy literally spawned right over here. Cause you see the you see the little tracking mark, you see where it's coming from or whatever. It's not it's not like it's going across or whatever, but it's going right here. So you guys gotta be careful about these KC spawns. Cook and friend spawns are 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 really wild. Sometimes the way shoot house work, um, kill confirm spawns, they, they they literally spawn like in the middle or this back corner right here. Sometimes they spawn to like you know C flag or the A flag. Sometimes they spawn to this um top part over here. It, it's a whole bunch of spawns that go down with shoot house. So that's why I really recommend you guys um play domination. I feel like you could really just abuse this feature just the, the, the little Russian route method. Um uh ASA it gives you a little feel on where the Amy's could possibly be all right uh let's see this real quick guys so map awareness is everything right so i want to see how this i want to see how this guy reacts once he sees that his two teammates are right here nine times ten they stay right here whether they never die but his teammates are back here too so it's like an even split nine times the ten guys i feel like if, if i could just guess it i feel like that they're most likely gonna spawn somewhere right here in this little corner or whatever in this outside map all right let's go ahead and look and see 
Let's see if I'm right. Yep, I knew it. It's there's they're going. It should be one more. Yep, nice, got him. So that's also a spot right there in the middle. It should be some more people. Yep, just like that. Check your love. Check your love, my guy. Yep, I knew it. Just like that. It's obvious, bro. I'm a god at this. I even. It, it's just so obvious the way that these spawns work. So what I say? Let me go back. Let me play that back real quick. Let me play that back real quick. So once he seen that, once he seen that the back of his teammates were all the way in the back of the map. On I believe that's a flag or c flag. I'm not too sure. Whatever a flag, but his two teammates were up or something. You can obviously tell that nine times out of ten, your enemies gonna be somewhere in this middle area, or whatever, or somewhere in this little area right here. When I was telling you about, so let's go ahead and replay that real quick. That's very very nice. Got him. Nice. He popped his foot upgrade, dead silence. Nice. He's rushing now. He, he cleared those two at the middle. Another spot right here. Catch him. Got him. Easy kills. Just, just like that. But me, next time, this don't get me wrong, this was a good play. But next time, my guy, make sure that you actually... That guy could have waited. I feel like you should have really... Hurry up and turn and kill that guy and then continue what you was doing. Cause easily, guys, just one that one simple mistake could cost you. He could have easily got shot in the back. But nine times of ten, these kids are playing. I don't know who he's playing against right now, but this is a good lobby that he's that he got right now. That's amazing. All right, Let's check this little office area. Pop this UAV. Nice, nice. I like his movement too. His movement is actually nice. He, he he's very very aggressive. Let me see some nice jump out, good stuff. So what he did after this, it's a spot right here. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go back. Let me go back. So also, guys, this is what I've been meaning to tell you. Sometimes a kill confirm um, shoe house or whatever. Is sometimes you might see a little bit of dawn. They also spawn in this little back area of the map right here. What? Yeah, this this little corner right here. They are always just lined up. For some reason, which counts for easy feeds you can get if you're on like on this part of the map or outside, you can easily just see it. But luckily, my um my man's just paying attention. He sees that a random kid just spawned right there. You gotta always be aware of what's going on. That's why you really how can I say this? There's nothing wrong with rushing on shoe house, but you want to make sure that you're rushing smart. All right, you always gotta rush smart just because easily a spawn can change just like that. Um, let's go back to it. Nice. He should call his VO jet. I don't know why he's not running Venture V or whatever. This look like a nuke, a easy nuke lobby for him. Got a VO jet. He put it in the middle. He put it in the middle. Let's see if it kills him. I'll be very surprised if it don't. Oh, did it? Nice, nice little hit fire. Oh snap! Woo! Oh my God! Hey, yo, this kid is cracked. Wait, 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 wait. Let's run that back. Run that back. Let's 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 look at this because I don't understand this. I don't understand what he just did right here. All right. He calls Vito J in the middle, right? It's coming in. He's rushing. He sees a kid. Boom. A quick little hit fire. Now, how can I say this? He could have died so easily. But let me look at this real quick so I can... I don't know if he shocked the enemies the way he just, um, just speed around that corner like that. Let's go. Let's run that back. Let's run that back real quick. Nice little hit fire. And as you see, guys, see, once he, he's he's already ADS, right? Now, there's one guy who has his gun up. So, obviously, he's not going to have any time just to react whatsoever, depending on what gun he has. It looks like an AR. Yeah, it looks like an AR. But this guy right here, his gun is already ADS down. So, it's like a one-on-one -on -one action. If he kills this kid, he, he, will, he will obviously kill this kid very, very easy. Let's see this again. Kill that kid. Now, as you see, guys, let's run that back, bro. Let's run that back real quick. If you see, hold on, let me run this back real quick. I'm just gonna run it back right here. Nice little hit fire. Look at him. He pretty much did, did, did like a like like a like, like a basically like a you know dodging move, dodging move, dodging dodging move and stuff like that. You can easily outplay the that your enemies, your brother. That's how you win three on one, one on three gunfights just like that. In my opinion, he should have honestly died. I don't know who he's playing against, but he should have obviously died or whatever. Nice little hit fire, bounce, 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 just like that. His movement is insane. That that was nice quad feet. That was very, very nice. Let me let me go back real quick. 
let me go back quick quick did that spawn change right here once you got the little coffee i ain't see it but we, 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 we gotta be able to rewind that because that's still crazy to me boom boom the dodging we so a t a enemy did spawn right here in this corner let me let me pause a enemy did spawn right come once he cleared out these people right here in this corner right here people start spawning right here too i think one person spawned all right Run around the corner. Nice. That was the kid that spawned. Stay away from that gas, my guy. Nice. Nice. That, that was a nice move. Now let's go back to that. Now, the way, like I said, guys, KC shootout spawns are so unpredictable because you never know where they're going to spawn at. Once he seen that, that the, you know, the enemy way, way before, like the time frames, um, once he seen that there was an enemy right there, the kid spawned, he immediately went to his corner, he killed them, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, guys, some more people start spawning in this little back corner or whatever. All right. And I appreciate you hearing just because they, the guy started shooting. Nice finesse. Nice. It should be some kids around this corner, too. It should be. It is died. All right. This, this guy. This guy is nice. I like his play style. Let's do some. It might be kids somewhere in this corner right here. Yep. Jump around the corner. Nice. Easy pickoffs. It should be one more kid right here. Go ahead, get him. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. He's on a twenty-one right now. Here you go. Just in the middle, man. You got to start rushing the middle, bro. Nice. Nice kill. Got him. Should be some more kids back over here. Oh, his teammate killed him. Nice. Got him. Yes, sir. This guy, this guy is good. Pick off another pick off. Nice. If he's smart enough, like he needs, he needs, go, he needs to go back to the outside though. Oh, never mind. He, oh, you know, he know what you're doing. He's a pick off. He's only 27. What's he gonna do? He got to stay from the middle. Oh, he checked the middle. It's 28. Wait, whoa, whoa. Hey, my man, what are you doing? Ah, let's pause the video. Now, look, guys. Let's go back to this real quick, man. Let's play it. Let's play it back. He was on the 25. Why did he rush out like that? He seen a guy right here, right? Picked him off. He's flanking him, right? Got him again. Now, now he, he's rushing the middle again. Now, he learned. I see that he was trying to learn from his mistakes. And he actually, he, he really did this, man. He actually checked his middle this time. Which, was, which is very, very surprising. But I can tell right now, guys, this man is a, a very, very aggressive rush to the point where he cannot control it. He, he just, he, he's just wild. He's crazy. You cannot nobody control him, right? This is exactly where he pays the price, right? If you see that already off bat, let me get a better picture frame real quick. Now, if you see, guys, there are literally three people. One, two, three. The only way he was going to be able to pull this off, guys, is if he hurry up and kill these and kill these two kids coming together, which going to count as a double kill, and he wound up juking out the other kid, which is the last one, and he would have easily got his nuke just like that. Let's play it back. Whatever. That, that That's how... He like he should never push that gunfight whatsoever. I feel like he like he should never jump up at him whatsoever. I feel like he should have played a little bit, just a tad bit, uh, back just a little bit, just to get just pull out those double kills. Therefore, once it comes down to like a one on one situation with this guy right here, he would have easily killed him and he would have easily got his um his nuclear just like that. That's all it takes right there, guys. Is if he would have killed those two all at once a double kill and it would have been a one on one action. All my man's had to do was literally just jump shot to the right or left just to. Depends on where that enemy might be at, but do like a hard jump right to the to the um to the right or whatever. And he would have easily um just pick up this kid easily. He would have did it. But overall, this guy is a very very good player. But I feel like that he needs to control his rushing a, a lot. He, he really do. He really does. I feel like he. I feel like I feel like his map awareness is there, but it's not there just a little bit. He, he like he has it down just a little bit, but I feel like that he does push. You know, dumb. Um, dumb uh, gunfight. Actually, he, like he, he should never push the one on three. That that clip before, I don't know how he did that. That that, that, that little that little one on juke on three or whatever. But that would that was nuts. That would, that was really nuts. I don't know how he did that. This guy right here, nice nice little jump at. Let's go ahead. Let's run that back real quick. Let's go back. Take it back real quick. He's still going middle again. I don't know why. You, like you never, you never want to go middle. I always stick to the outside of the maps. So he sees some enemies die right here, right? Let's see what happens. 
Boom. He's getting shot at behind. Nice. Now, let me play this back, guys, because I want you guys to also um, try this out. Take my... Listen, guys, I, I know what I'm talking about. I play, I play shoot as a lot, so I know what I'm talking about. Once you see a door, it's like... Let me play it back. Let me play it back, man. Once you see, like, a door look like it's open just to look like a tad bit, if you guys see right here, this little footstep right here, this little red mark or tracker he has going, you can obviously tell that's going, there's going to be a gap behind this door right here just because you see a red footstep, all right? He, he could have easily died, easily. Here up the hill, nice little jump back with the hill fire. Nice, spawns right there. There's be some more people behind him. Yep, it was more people behind him. Now, if he wanted to avoid this, let me see something. If he wanted to avoid this, what I feel like he should have did mainly was just hurry up and ride this little outside of magic. That's that's why I tell you guys, bro. Take, bro, please abuse the the um the the outside of the map, especially on the shoe house. All right, go back to it. Get him, nice. He killed this kid right here, but he but he forgot that. Oh snap! There's also a spawn right here. So, I feel like what he should have did, mainly, like I said before, it was run this outside the mask, kill these two kids, kill that kid right here, right here, and then handle this guy right here that's camping last. That's what he should have did. I feel like if he had, like, a higher sensitivity, maybe, like, a tad bit of a higher sensitivity, he probably would have turned on him. Who knows? He almost got him, though. Got his UAV. All right, now my man's using his chopper gunner, which is very, very, very weird. I don't use chopper gunner. I guess my man was just trying to go for, like, high kills. Or whatever. Let's go ahead and look at this. Now, you see how when he's in the chopper gun and how these spawns look? They're, they're random, guys. You see how they're still spawning right here? In the little right side of the map? They're still spawning over there. It's always the corner of the map right there where you see a lot of those people at. He can't even get them. The spawn protection. You see how they... they, they bro, look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You see how they're, they're literally... Hold on. Let me go back. You see how they're literally just spawning like that's why I was telling you guys, bro. KC spawns are weird. They're literally spawning on, on on the right side of the map, but this little corner right here. You see two enemies right here. They, they literally spawn right here in the corner right here, corner right here, and also a corner right here. Let's go back to it. Pick out those kids. Okay, get them. And they also spawn right here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, easily. Good kills, and that kid just came from the middle. You got to be aware of that, guys. So you see more of what's going on with the chopper gun and where they actually spawning at. Overall, this guy is a good player. I feel like once he just once he just get better at um pushing stuff or learn how to like um rush smarter, this guy's going to be unstoppable. He's very, very good. Nice jump out. That was beautiful. This will be a spawn coming up right here. Yep. Got him. One more. Good stuff. Just like that. You see that? That's that's what I'm talking about, my guy. Good stuff. Good stuff. He learned from his lesson. Just like that. Let's, let's go back to it. If I will go back to this right here, where he actually went crazy right here. Kill one. Two. Nice. Jumping out. Got him. Nice. Just like that. As you see that there, there's, there's a spawn right here coming up, right? Spawn coming right, here, right up. Got him. Got him. Look, look at this. Look at this. Where's my mouse at? Where's my mouse at? All right. Now, let's go back to this real quick, man. Make sure I remember. Now, this guy right here came from this little right corner right here. He came from this little right corner. And a guy also spawns right here in the little corner of this side, too, also. You guys got to be aware of that. That's why he got so many easy pickoffs. That was very, very good. Very, very good. But Vito J in the middle. It's the guy here in this little corner. Where he where he went? D don't. Okay, never mind. He got him. Nice. Where his teammate got him. This morning, morning outside. Nice. Got him. Easy kills. Now, guys, take this to consideration that once you see by once you see that that there's somebody you know on top of like the uh, the little head glitch or whatever, it just counts for an easy kill. That's an easy kill right there. But there's one more guy showing up right here. They. So it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, he just killed that guy. So 9 times 10, he spawned right here in this little corner right here. He got the easy pickoffs, just like that. He throwing gas at him. Got the gas, my guy. What's he doing? 
Cause somebody's running a trophy system on their team. But yeah, this guy, this guy does have some good, very, very good movement. I must say, if I must say this though, um, he needs to just work on how to run smarter. He already has it down with the movement system goes. His, his aim is good. He needs to he he needs to know when to push a gunfight and when not to push a gunfight. There's been so many times in this video where he he should have actually been had died already. He he should have been died in my opinion. He really should have. <laughs> If he would have played smarter and not push those three kids that's in the back corner over there, he would have easily got his tactical nuke just like that or whatever. Small mistakes cost you in the long run. Always remember that, guys. But this guy does have some very, very good movement. Once he just uh, figure out how to, you know, rush smart, rush very, very smart, he'll be all right. Very, very nice. That was good. He got 103 kills this game. That's crazy, man. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, man. This is how to rush effectively here in Modern Warfare, especially on Shoe House. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys want to um see more of gameplays like this or more subscribe and breakdowns, make sure you guys go hit that sub button, guys, and drop that like on today's video, guys. And, yeah, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.